You're going to tell us what this abstract painting is, if I'm correct, right? And I understand those are termite droppings, you say. That's what they are. Could you tell us how you collected these? Well, I had, had the call to do a survey on this wooden boat. And I went down there, and the lady, she says, well, you have to excuse this mess. She says, I'm trying to clean it up. And she's sweep, sweeping up these little droppings. And I picked them up, looked at it. And I said, I think you got termites, lady. She says, termites on a boat? I never heard of such a thing. And I says, well, I'll try to find out where they are. And it was in her galley, and it was up in the galley door. And she says, well, is that all? And so I started crawling around, and I found them forward underneath the V-berth. I found them in the uh, strength members underneath the deck back aft. So if we see little dust-type things of that right. sort, then we could assume it's termites in, on the boat, especially that, on a wooden boat. I guess a fiberglass boat might not have as many. Well, I've heard somebody ask before about fiberglass termites. I haven't seen those yet, but maybe someday they'll develop. <laughs> could you explain the rest of your chart, please? Okay. These fastenings right here, they're called fastenings on wooden vessels, and all vessels, basically. But these came out of wooden boats, and you can see by the stalactites, stalagmites formation that they were corroding and not holding too well. Then the long ones here are keel bolts, and they corrode. If anything's steel on a boat will corrode, and they get the same figure. And they'll, nine times out of ten, they'll start in the center where the water sits and gets trapped. But a lot of times they'll go at the end, too, like this one here. The end just corroded away, and it just felt... And if you know a sailboat, these are holding the keel on the bottom. So if they go, you're sailing along and turn over one day, you know you lost your keel. Well, let me ask you this. Um, the boats hold this heavy lead keel on the bottom of the boat. When you do a survey, how do you inspect the boats that are down in there? Do you take them out one by one? No. Uh, when we do the survey, we usually take a hammer or some metal and tap them to see how they sound. And if there's nice solid sound, and it gives you a ringing sound, they're usually pretty good and their physical condition, which you can see. But as we can see on one of right. the large ones there, it looks or appears to be in excellent condition right. up towards the end. If I looked at that from the top on my boat, right. I'd say, hey, it looks fine, but down here it's almost ready to break in half. If it's like so. that, you can tell by hit that. The sounding will tell you something's loose or it doesn't mm -hmm. quite sound right. And it takes years and of experience well, to get that sound out. Right. Mm -hmm. And then this piece here is off a mast that was parted, and because the water got down inside the swedge fitting, which is the shiny part, mm -hmm. it corroded, and then it started stressing, and it actually split down the side a little bit, and then it parted one day. So the guy almost lost his mast with that one. And then this bottom one here, that's part of a worm shoe. You have these uh, marine life, and they'll get it in the end of your wood, and they'll eat their way through to the other end and fall out, and mm -hmm. the wood just gets deteriorated. But it's a sacrificial piece on boats that people don't normally look at. So again, here, it looks in fine condition on the upper mm -hmm. surface, but the worms stay down inside right. the wood. And how do you find out if you have that problem? Uh, you, you tap, tap it with it? a mallet, mm -hmm. and you hear the different sound, and you get your knife out, and you I'm becoming digging. pretty educated on this <laughs> tapping thing. And then okay. the other two here, well, the top one up there is a, an aluminum mm -hmm. nut. This is a lock washer type, locking type. Someone had that on their steering, and they had a steel linkage to all the steering with an aluminum nut and it ate the aluminum up and the steering fell apart and they were, had to be towed in. And the other two here, the one there was rotted wood just from this one fresh, here? No, the other uh, one. This one. That got fresh water in it and it rotted. You can feel it. It feels like a sponge. Yeah, I've heard that if you only put salt water on your wood and in your boat that you won't have that problem. Is that true? Because I've heard the opposite also. No, you can get some rot from salt water too. It depends on how the salinity content is and then how much the wood absorbs. Because the salt will stay outside the wood mm -hmm. and the fresh water from the salt will seep in inside ah. it. So it's about the same, but is salt water, would oh, you say, better? Oh, it's much better. better. Much, much better. better. Right. Mm -hmm. And the other one, last one here, that's a frame out of a commercial fishing boat. And it, uh, the steel, the wood looks good. It, it really feels good. But you try to take the screw out, and it just fell apart. Hmm. Because it rusted, the steel expanded, and it split the frame. And the frame just fell off my hand when I touched it. So basically, if you are shopping for, say, a bankruptcy bid boat or a lean sale that appears to be a real good price, it may be, and you pay a surveyor, and, and he should be able to tell you about that, right? He should be able to find but a lot of But on the other it. hand, just <laughs> an average person looking, there's so many different things and areas that 
could create a problem that you should go to a surveyor. Right. I always tell people, my reference to survey, that if you're sick enough, you go to the doctor. You don't treat yourself. And if you're going to buy a boat, you're not sure, I'll get a surveyor. Mm -hmm. Well, would you say that if you're really trying to make sure that you have a good piece of boat under you, you perhaps you should go to two or three, like doctors? I recommend that. If people aren't satisfied in my surveys, I recommend they try another one. Okay. We'll be right back with Sea Tales, True Stories of the Sea, right after this.